Today we celebrate the feast, Jesus Christ, King of the Universe, the absolute sovereignty of Christ. As our first reading says, one like the Son of Man, coming in the clouds of heaven, given eternal dominion over all peoples, nations, and languages, robed in majesty. Such were the dreams and visions of the prophet Daniel as he lay in his bed. And our psalm proclaims a king robed in majesty. And the second reading, which is from the book of Revelations, which is also a vision, calls Jesus the Alpha and Omega, which are the first and last letter of the Greek alphabet. So the beginning and the end, the A and the Z, as we might say. So how to express the sovereignty of Christ on this solemn feast? This feast, which is the hinge between the old and the new liturgical year. As we move this year, at least, from the year of Mark to the year of Luke. My kingdom is not of this world, says Jesus to Pilate. Pilate, who represents the power of this world, which is as nothing, of course, and sentences him to death on a cross labeled King of the Jews. My kingdom is not of this world, says Jesus. What kind of king is Jesus? How are we to vision and dream the sovereignty of Christ? an upside-down king, to be sure, with a cross for a throne, a canonic or self-emptying king who becomes a vulnerable newborn, nursing at his mother's breast, sleeping in a feeding bin for animals, who knows the taste of tears, who felt hunger experience loneliness and rejection, who washes our feet at the Last Supper, who was tortured and nailed to a cheap wooden cross, but also our risen King, sovereign even over our last enemy, death. In this King, even death becomes victory and overcoming, what kind of king is Jesus? Our Lady tells us in her Magnificat, he's the kind of king who casts down the mighty from their thrones, who lifts up the lowly and scatters the proud, who fills the hungry with good things, a king for whom the first is last and the last is first, who takes the form of a slave, who emptied himself in order to save each one of us and who calls us to do the same. Together, let us proclaim the truths of our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, 